Hey, what's up guys? So I thought it was definitely time that I brought out the little Sprint Jet uh, jet boat by Horizon Hobbies, but I have done it up to brushless and 3S capable. So I've got a 2S in there at the moment, a little 600 milliamp, uh, 7.4 volt lithium battery. I can't exactly remember what the motor is at the moment, but I will pop it up on the screen somewhere. And I think the speed control is a 30 amp Hobby King uh, water cooled speed control, but I haven't got any water cooling hooked up to it because this little tiny motor is not going to draw much power at all. I did bring my little rescue boat as well. Once you change these to brushless or put your own non out of the box system in them, they lose their self riding capability. So yeah, I had to bring the little boat just in case. Um, should be all good. So last time I brought this out, I was having bad signal problems. Um, I wasn't using the Dumbo RC, I was actually using a Flysky controller and I think it was just, just bad signal, so I think this is going to be much better. Oh, still too much steering. <laughs> on 2S it's unreal, on 3S it's just, it's just uncontrollable. Yeah, it's excellent. Not getting signal problems now, so that's good. Steers better to the to the right, I think. Whoop. Yep, stuck in the weeds. There we go. Excellent guys. All right, I'll chuck this 3S in, see how we go. Hopefully, all goes well and I don't flip it too soon because I definitely am going to have to go and rescue it. It's got no self-riding, just, just doesn't want to at all anymore. All right, I got one of these tiny little Zop Power 350 milliamp uh, 3S 70C batteries. So hopefully that fits in there. Should, I think I've run these in this boat before, yep. All right, here we go guys, 3S. This is gonna be a little bit nuts. Wow. It's actually super smooth as well. <laughs> no good when it hits that wake. Now someone did suggest put a a drive plate or a slide plate, I'm not sure what they're called, but um I'm not sure it'd help with this because it's so small, so lightweight. Um but it's definitely worth a try. So I'll definitely <laughs> make one of them up for it soon. This is crazy. Yeah, that's super smooth. <laughs> Hitting the wakes is no good though, absolutely not. Wow. There we go, so. Yeah, so I need my rescue boat. It will not self right anymore, even on 3S. Now the Pro Boat Jet Jam is my rescue boat of choice. Um, it is completely stock standard. It's not really fast. It can self, self right still, which is a benefit of a rescue boat, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Oh, losing signal actually. Oh no, that's not a good thing. Not for a rescue boat. There you go. Maybe I can flip it over, that's, that's fine. Just don't get 
guy fell away. Beautiful, that's how it's done. <laughs> that's exactly what this boat's made for. That's perfect. <laughs> excellent guys, excellent. So the pro boat, Jet Jam, makes the perfect rescue boat, stock standard. Yeah, that's excellent. Oh, I might just try here again. Look at all those guppies, guys. Or millions fish. And they're called millions fish because they breed like crazy. <laughs> right, here we go. How did I hit that one post that's out there? I think I'm losing power already, guys. Mustn't have charged this three cell properly. Oh. Well, guys, I can tell you right now, these things are such good fun. I think this was about $100. The brushless kit that I've got in it was around about $60. So the whole thing, 3S capable, cost me, yeah, about $160, $170. Absolutely worth it, in my opinion. I'll definitely try that drive plate or the, the V style drive plate because it was uh, jumping up and down quite a bit, especially on the 3S. Um, I think this nozzle's fine for what I'm doing, but a new impeller and nozzle would probably be good experimental thing a bit bigger um, but for now guys this is excellent love these little boats so much fun all right guys definitely have this out again cheers catch you in the next video and stay safe